Hello guys and welcome to another hacker run video. This one is called Find Digits. So I got this problem whilst actually at work and I just browsed over it for a little bit. And once I got back home, I figured, you know what, let me create something for YouTube because I haven't been on YouTube uh, as active for the last two weeks and um, I need to take that a little bit more seriously. Uh, so we're given an integer D, which is a device of an integer N meaning that if n mod d, or n divided by d, has a remainder of 0, that means that d is a divisor of n. Then we're given a number, uh, n, for example, which is 111. The thing here is we need to extract every single digit with an n, right? And then we have to divide n by that digit. And if that digit's remainder is 0, then we have a divisor. So in this case, 111, um, since 1 is now a duplicate, so we can say that each individual digit in uh, 111 is actually a divisor, which returns us the value 3. So we're saying that we go to 111, extract the first digit, take 111 divided by that digit, which is going to give us a 0, right? So the mod, if you mod that, it's going to give us 0, and then we do the same thing for the rest of the digits here. However, there's a case here that we need to check for, and if you don't actually go down and look at the other description, you might actually do this wrong. The thing here is, what if we actually have a zero within our number, like in this case here? So for example, when we extract the value uh, zero here, and we take 1012 divided by zero, we actually get an undefined behavior. So this is the case we need to watch out for. So let's go ahead and actually start coding this, because uh, I feel like we can do this as quick as possible. So what we need to do first is, uh, let's copy you know what, let's create uh, a variable to hold our increment. So we're going to call this one, let's just call this one um, uh, counter. And this is going to be equal to zero. And then we need to go ahead and copy n. The reason is because when we go ahead and start um, extracting the digits from n, we're going to mutate n, okay? We're going to change the value in n. So we need to go ahead and keep the original value because we need that value to check to see if the remainder or the value that we extract is actually a divisor or not. So let's go ahead and keep a variable for that. Let's call this one CP for copy. And this is going to be equal to N. So next we need to go ahead and mutate N. So we're going to say while uh, N is not equal to zero, we need to go ahead and grab the remainder or extract the values individually. So we're going to say int remainder is going to equal to n mod 10. Next, we need to see if the remainder is greater than 0. If that's greater than 0 and cp, which is the copy, the original value, mod the remainder is equal equal to zero, then we have a divisor. So what we can do here is say counter plus plus. Next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and reduce n by a value by a factor of 10. So we're going to say n is divide, divided by equal to 10. All right. So what we need to do next is just return the counter uh, which is the number of divisors that we found. All right, and this is the solution for this. Let's go ahead and run the code here. And if there are any errors, we should be able to fix that. So you guys can see uh, we are on point here, and this works. Let's go ahead and submit for all the cases. And we're good to go. All right, so how can we also approach this problem? Yes, we have done it this way, and I'm sure it works fine. It's fast, but can we do this in one in a in a one-liner kind of way? Um, so I had an idea. We can convert n to an integer and convert that to a stream, and then figure out um, how we need to go ahead and um, and count this. All right. So here uh, we really have our uh, utils class. Uh, um, imported here. So let's try something else. Let me go ahead and erase all of this. 
And what we're going to do here is use Java 8 features. We're going to go ahead and use uh, streams. So what we need to do first is um, let's go ahead and use the integer class. And then we're going to use the toString method to convert our integer to a string. Then we need to go ahead and convert this to uh, a stream. So we're going to use the, the chars method. Then what we need to do is convert um, the character to an int because we can't take n divided by a character. We can't divide, um, uh, well, we can do that because, well, a character by default is um, uh, an ASCII, which is an int. So we can do that. However, it won't give us representation that we actually need. So what we need to do is we need to get the numeric value for this. So what we need to do is use the map capabilities. And then what we need to do is use the uh, character class. And we can use the short form here uh, to call a method. So we're going to use the get uh, numeric value, right? Next, what we need to do is we need to actually filter this. We need to check to see if the filter state of the value is greater than zero and n mod that value is equal equal to zero, meaning that it has a remainder. Uh, one way that we can actually do this is to create our own, our own interface outside that declares what the filter should be like and then pass it to the filter, um, pass that interface to the filter and the filter will determine um, if the value meets that state. The next way we can actually do it is use a by predicate and, and pass, it, uh, pass that in as well. But for this, I don't want to go ahead and write some extra stuff here because I don't know how well Hackerang handles it. So I'm going to go ahead and just create that here. So what we need to do is use the filter. And then here, we can create a value here. So we're going to say value. We're going to check if that value is greater than zero. And that value. Uh, and we're going to check if n mod that value is equal, equal to zero. And if that is true, then what we need to do is we need to actually count, um, count it. All right. However, we have a little problem here. The problem here is that the count um, actually returns along, so we need to go ahead and do a cast. So what we need to do here is we need to add in a return statement, and then we need to go ahead and cast this to an int. So I'm just going to go ahead and do an uh, int here, and we're going to cast that. And I think this is it. So now what we've done is we've converted this to a, to a string. Then we converted this to a, 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 a stream of, ca of characters. We then convert the characters uh, to their uh, numeric values. We check to see if that value is greater than 0, and n mod that value is equal to 0. Next, we count that because we want to know how many of that value um, is actually device or event, right? So let's go ahead and submit this. And you can see that this works. And let's go ahead and submit for the rest of the cases. And that works as well. All right, guys, this will be it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys in another HackerRank video as soon as I can. I'll see you guys again. Bye-bye.